So if you lead her through, excellent, excellent, excellent. Oh, yes, 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 you got it, you got it, you got it. Yes, keep going, go, 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 go. Foot at your waist. Go, 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 go. Perfect, perfect. Excellent. Check out how her eyes are on you. Excellent, very nice work. All right, Z, you ready to heal? Let me do on leash at first. Yeah, it's fine, fine with me. I don't care, as long as you're not using your leash to do it. Dog's mouth, very nice. Move faster, move faster than her. That's the way to get the, the loose leash work. Go, 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 go. Eye contact, eye contact, eye contact. Yes, good, 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 good. Keep going, go faster, don't use your leash. Good, beautiful work. Give Comiskey your watch cue and walk with him. Go, go, go. Watch out, Ernie. Good, good, good. Talk to him. See if you can get your food up at your waist. Oh, Comiskey. Let's go. OK, good. All right, so same thing. Give him your watch cue and keep your food at your waist. Talk to him. Come on, come on, come on. Go, 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 go. Oops. Wrong side, buddy boy. Good, fancy footwork. So I would give him, give him a little, like a finger to follow, good, and then pick that up and give him the watch cue from there. See if that'll do something for you. It's like I usually have them follow my hand for like okay. a couple of steps. Exactly. Empty hand though. See if you can wiggle, yeah, exactly. So work with him there, see what you can get there. Misky. Go. Misky. Go, 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 go. Yes! Oh yeah. Good, good, good. How's it going with Ernie? So a lot of times I like to show them, it's like now you're healing, I use this cue. So why don't we teach them a touch so that they'll get their noses to touch our hands and we can go touch and then move them forward in that heel. That might help us out a little bit in terms of getting them in position. Um, it's nice for them to have something to really, really focus on, right? So a few ways, this is one of them, all right? So here's how you teach a touch. Yes, good. And we're gonna put the verbal cue on there. Comiskey touch, excellent. The dogs are used to going for your hands to get a treat, right? Touch, yes, good. So this will show him, we touch, that putting the nose on the hand is a really fun thing to do. That way we can start getting them to follow us a little more closely in our heel and get that exact position. It's tough to get that exact position. And touch is actually really multi-purpose. You can use it as a touch to greet. So instead of our little friends jumping up on us, they can touch your hands to say hello. Okay? Yes, he's gonna go busily touch somebody else's dog. Very exciting. So let's work on teaching them touch. And you can use that in your homework, which will be to get your heel a little bit more tight. So you're working on getting your heel Yes, good. Excellent. Yes. Nice. He's so gentle. Okay, he got it. So what you may want to do is bait your hand because he's a little bit like, eh, this isn't going to play. So do like teeny weeny amount of cheese and then ask for the touch. And if you go low rather than high, oh, you got it. He just, it, like, he's so gentle. He just touches his, like, the fur on his little lips, like, just that much. Super gentle. Yes. If you go for the touch with a low hand, that might work better for you. Touch. Yes, yeah. super good. And then you can start moving it this way and get her to touch and then move with her okay. and continue to go. I think it'll work really well for her. Goodness me, Z. Goodness me. Have you forgotten your manners, love? Yes. Have you? I used to bleed and now there's no marks or blood or anything. Well, that's, that's impressive. That's good. She's got some better mouth control or at least blunter teeth. So getting him to stick with you is a matter of really getting him to think that it's worth it and it's what he wants, you know? If you convince him that what he wants is to actually be right next to you, then he'll do it. It's just a, you know, it's moving those puzzle pieces around to get them in the right order for him. Yes, that's a beautiful response. I actually do the same cue so they can see it because they can't see that high up, right? So for him, I would say down and then I'd work on it close up. Um, I know he probably won't do it for me, so I'm not going to do that. <laughs> but for your sit, just a huge sit signal. He's looking at me like I'm from Mars. I'm not from Mars. Oh, sit. sit. I'm going to give him a smaller cue, which he knows. And they just don't know what you're talking about. So give him a chance. Give him about a foot back, like another, like a this much maybe for him. I don't know. What are you going to do? Are you planting the rear? Let's see. Yes. That's pretty good. So I've just shown him that it's OK if our paws are all really far apart. That's what you're going to do now. All right? Yes. Good. Good show, love. 
Yeah, and that's that's about getting just getting him to see that you can be this far away and it still pays off, yeah. it still works, and I still have to listen. You know, yeah. it's a number of different things. But I think he can really nail these if you keep working with them. Looking very nice. Good. So you don't need far, far away. You just need like about maybe another half step back. Excellent. Uh, uh, uh. And then I'd show her this, and I'd you know I'd wait this out, you know, because she does get it. And look, I mean, my we're about a foot apart, which isn't the best thing. Uh, uh. So when you get the movement towards you, Mandy, ready? And then if you get the down and she starts like crawling towards you, I will bring my other hand down to stop that motion. Oh, okay. That way you get you get a chance to pay them for getting there. Ready? Okay. So let's try that. Sit. Come on, up you go. Up you go. You can do it. Like just let her remind her, sit and stay. And get that other hand in there that blocks their motion so they can't come towards you. And it really keeps their mind focused. Oh right, I'm not supposed to move. I know that. Okay. Like to keep reminding him that it works, it works, it works. Keep doing it, keep doing it, keep doing it. Because that really works. That's the best way to get the emergency sit to even do while you're doing a heel to have him sit while you're still moving. Really cool. All right, you guys, that was really good work. So over the next week, you're going to continue to practice your recall and your distance cues and your distance stays. You had some very nice distraction work today. I saw some excellent stuff go down.